This salesing video shows the concept of ladder rungs using a visual approach to help you understand the race course. This topic may be too basic for some of you, but we have found many experienced sailors have misconceptions, so we hope everyone will learn something from this video. We'll use the concept of ladder rungs to help you think about where to start, who is ahead, which tack is lifted, and positioning for wind shifts. Let's start with a pre-quiz to see how much you know. In this situation, the wind is coming straight down the course and the starting line is perpendicular to the wind direction. Let's assume the wind won't shift. The race committee has placed the windward mark considerably to the left of center as you can see here. The question is, which boat will sail the shortest distance to the mark? Let's look at the answer. Let's assume the race committee offsets the mark so much that A can sail directly to it without tacking. So A's course would look like this. Let's assume that B sails as far as she can on starboard and then tacks and sails directly to the mark. B's course would look like this. How do these two courses compare in distance? Let's bring them together. You can see that the first two parts of the courses are equal down here. What about the second parts of the course up here? If you look closely at these two lines, you can see they form part of a triangle with two equal legs. So the second parts of the course are also equal. So the answer to our question is that both A and B sail the same distance to the mark. Of course, if the wind is the same for both, B will get there later because she has to tack. Also, even if they do arrive at the same time, A would have right away at the mark. But the point is, that even with the mark off center, the distances sailed are the same. Now what if B can't make up her mind and decides to throw in two more tacks? Does this increase B's sailing distance? Let's look at B's one tack course and three tack course together. This is a rectangle right here. This set of segments are equal and this set of segments are equal. So again, the distance sailed is not affected. Now let's use the concept of ladder rungs to understand this better. Picture the course as a set of lines perpendicular to the wind direction. These are called ladder rungs. Sailing upwind is like climbing a ladder. As we saw in the last slide, when sailing close hauled with no wind shifts and assuming equal pointing ability, all boats sail the same distance between any two ladder rungs. If we compare these courses just like before, the distances are equal. For the same reason, where you start or finish on a ladder rung does not affect the distance sailed. This may be hard to believe at first, but it's simply because the boats can't sail directly to the mark and all the boats sail at the same angles as the other boats going up the course, assuming they're all pointing properly. Now let's check your understanding. Who's ahead in this picture? Using the ladder rungs, we can easily see that boats A and B are even with each other since they are on the same ladder rung. C and D are also even with each other and A and B are ahead of C and D. Now what if we move the mark to the left? Does this change the answer? I hope by now you said no, since the mark is on the same ladder rung as it was before. You can't actually see the ladder rungs on the water, but if you know your boat's upwind sailing angle, you can visualize them with imaginary lines on your boat. 
For example, in medium wind, most boats sail upwind at about 45 degrees from the, from the direction of the wind. Imagine two lines, each 45 degrees from the center line of your boat. The 45 degree line to windward shows you the wind direction. The 45 degree line to leeward shows you the direction of the ladder rungs. In the past, some sailors would actually mark these lines on their boats. They're called tacking lines. If you can visualize the ladder rungs, you can tell if you're ahead or behind someone, such as in a crossing situation. Who's ahead in this picture? Note that the wind direction is not straight down from the top of the picture, so the question also asks you to figure out the approximate wind direction. To find out who's ahead, we simply extend the ladder rung line from either the red boat or the blue boat. The ladder rung line from the red boat is ahead of the blue boat, so red is ahead. To find out the wind direction, we look at the windward 45 degree line on both boats, which both point in the direction of the wind. So the wind is from the upper left. You can also think about ladder rungs to help determine the favored end of the line. In this drawing, which end of the line is favored, and more importantly, how could you tell on the water? As you can see here, the pin end is on a higher ladder rung and therefore is favored. On the water, if you point the boat head to wind in the middle of the line, your bow will point more closely toward the favored end. I hope by now you didn't look at the mark to determine the favored end. Some people tell you to look at the mark to see if you are on the lifted tack. This can be deceiving when you get close to the mark. Which boat is lifted in this picture? Assume the wind was originally straight down the course, but now has shifted. If we look at the imaginary 45 degree lines on our boats, we can see the wind direction. The wind was originally straight down the page, but has shifted from the center to the left. Blue is on port tack, so blue is lifted. Red is on starboard and is sailing a header. Red looks like she is pointing closer to the mark, but wind direction and not mark placement determines the lifted tack. Now you may not always want to sail the lifted tack when you're near the mark, but you should at least be able to tell whether you are lifted or not, and not get deceived by just looking at the mark. Ladder rungs make it easy to understand how a wind shift makes you either gain or lose boats. With the wind straight down the course, A and B are currently even. If the wind shifts to the right, which boat will be ahead? To figure out which boat would gain, did you think it matters which tack they are on? Or does it matter where they are on the course? Let's look at the answer using the ladder rungs. If the wind shifts to the right, the ladder rungs will shift with it, since the ladder rungs are always perpendicular to the wind. After the wind shift, which boat is on the ladder rung closest to the mark? The answer is B, since B is more, now more than one ladder rung higher than A, as you see here. It doesn't matter where the mark is unless one of the boats sails past the ley line. This shows us that boats closer to the shift will gain, so we always try to sail toward the next shift unless there is way more wind somewhere else. Let's take this further to understand who gains and loses most in a wind shift. This should be easy after the last slide. In this situation, if the wind shifts to the right, which boat will gain the most? Look at what happens after the wind shifts. A has gained a full ladder rung, B has gained half of a rung, C has stayed on the same rung, and D has gone backward one rung or more. So the key message is the boats closest to the shift gain the most, the boat furthest from the shift loses the most, and boats in the middle minimize gains and losses. 
This is a good thing to remember when you're deciding how to position yourself during a race and how much risk to take. I'm going to leave you with some unanswered questions to allow you to apply your knowledge. Each of these questions can be answered by thinking about ladder rungs. Discuss these with your friends and if you can't figure it out, go to Salesing to look for answers. Why is getting to the ley line too early a bad idea? Next question. How do I determine the favored end of the finish line? Last question. Downwind, should I sail toward the next shift or away from the next shift? Let's summarize. We have learned that it's the wind direction and the ladder rungs concept, not the location of the marks, that help you understand the course. You can use wind direction and ladder rungs to find the favorite end of the line, determine if you are ahead or behind, determine if you are on the lifted tack, position yourself to the next shift by sailing toward the shift, and understand that you lose or gain a lot of boats by being the furthest boat to one side. Finally, a caution. This video focuses strictly on wind direction. We haven't said anything about boat speed and strategy. Don't get so wrapped up in ladder rungs that you forget to get a good start, sail fast, sail the lifted tack, and sail in more wind. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Visit us at salesing.com for more.